Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ola Jumake. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about social media etiquette. I believe as with everything in life, there are certain decorum and policies that you should adhere to just to make sure that you are protected, your mental health is looked after, your friends and family are safe, and also in terms of your personal information and personal data. It's a very beautiful spring day in London town, so forgive me if I become overexposed at any point in time. The sun is sort of deciding where it wants to set, so it's sort of in and out. So if you are currently active on social media and it's a platform that you really enjoy, it's important to remember, as with anything else, safety first. It doesn't matter whether you have a small account or a big account, doesn't matter if you consider yourself an influencer or just perhaps a content consumer, it's really important to remember these safety rules and I suppose policies whilst you are online. The first thing I will highlight is always protect your personal data. Make sure that you maintain some level of privacy. Again, it doesn't matter whether you have a small account or a big account, you don't know who's within your audience. You don't know who's consuming the content that you've put out. You don't know who might be following your page. So you want to be very cautious as to what sort of information you share online. A few years ago, there was a story about a UK based celebrity who had gone for some sort of a premiere and she tweeted precisely where she was at the time and her house was burgled because they had gone online and they'd seen that she wasn't at home. Of course, they were aware of where she lived and yeah, it was very sad. It's not to say that that couldn't have happened in any other day, but you also want to make it a little bit harder. So remember, safety first. The second thing I will highlight is that you don't have to share all of your information online. I believe that there's some things that should be kept private. So I don't know whether it's the smartest option to talk about things like what your spouse or your partner likes. I mean, that is competitive advantage. That is my best kept secret. So why would I want to share that online? I see that all the time where people talk extensively about their private lives, about their personal struggles and all sorts of things about their victories. You don't have to share every single thing. Of course, enjoy it. You know, it's, that's the whole point of having these platforms to share memories, to share details, you know, but do it within reason and be very cautious about what you share. I just don't believe that it is absolutely imperative to share all of those details. Keep some things for yourself to enjoy. And for those who enjoy social media and are not really interested in building a large audience, perhaps think about keeping your profile private so that at least that way you are vetting those who have access to your information access to your images, etc. And tied into that point, remember the internet never forgets. Whatever you post online, whatever you share online, make sure that you are absolutely comfortable with the content being out there and also ensure that it's something that can't be used against you in the future. So for example, some people share very, very intimate images and videos. Whoever they've shared that with, and even their own systems could be hacked. And of course, I'm sure that a lot of us have heard about attempted blackmails on the back of information that has fallen into the wrong hands. So this video was sponsored by Coco and Crumble, an amazing brand for all things home fragrance. Visit www.cocoandcrumble.com for all your home fragrance needs. Whatever your preference, fruity, floral, zesty, oriental, earthy, aromatic, you're guaranteed to find a gorgeous fragrance for your home. The next point is that if you choose to share your insecurities online, ensure that you are emotionally and intellectually mature enough to handle the pushback or whatever responses you get on the back of that. There just happen to be very many keyboard warriors out there today who will rip you apart and they don't really care about your feelings or how their words might come across. Some of them will even highlight things that you didn't even know you had an issue with, things that you weren't really aware were insecurities for you. And if you aren't at that point yet where you feel like you are comfortable or perhaps emotionally ready to share content online, that's perfectly okay. Perhaps go on stilch mode and become more of a passive stakeholder within the social media space. Next thing is that you also might want to think about doing a regular spring cleaning of your contact list because I believe that not everyone deserves to be in your safe space and I believe there should be an intentionality around 
those that you share your precious memories and moments with, and not everyone deserves to be in that category. Final point, which is extremely salient, is to watch what you say and what you post online. Increasingly, potential employers and recruiters are actually taking time out to search their potential hires online. And that's because they want to be absolutely sure that whoever's joining their company has the right professional profile, but also will imbibe the spirit of their organization. And so imagine if you've just had the most perfect interview and then your recruiter goes online just to check you out and they see really inappropriate posts or things you've said in the past out of immaturity or, you know, as a joke and they decide, well, this is not someone we want to be part of our organization. And they're not doing it because they care about you as an individual. They're doing it because they care about their corporate's image and they don't really want anyone coming in and ruining that, which may have taken years and years to build. And that's understandable. So be very careful what you say online and what you post online, your messaging online. So that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Until next time, look after yourselves, stay safe, bye for now.